Okay, I am with my wonderful son. <laughs> What's your name? Rombani Hala. And I asked Rombani to just give us a little bit of information about his village. So can you tell us about your village? Mm. My, uh, the name of my village is Mutepa, Mutepa Hala. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the people that live in my village are 250, 250 people. And Rombani, how do you get water every day? Every day. In my village, you get water in the river. How far away is the river from your house? Mm. If you're walking and normal, normal walking. Oh, walking okay, maybe from my house to river. 15 minutes or 20 minutes sometimes. And what time in the morning do you go to get your water? Mm, because there's many people, so we go maybe uh, 3 o'clock a.m. 3 a.m. Yes, to get your water? to get water because when you maybe go to 6 o'clock, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you, you can let it go to school. Okay, so what time do you have to go to school? 6 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. So when you go to get water, do you just take one bucket of water for yourself? No. Two, one using in my head, one using in my hand. And sometimes you carry how many buckets in your arms? Ah, uh, two or three. You told me once you carry four buckets, <laughs> two in one hand, two in the other hand. Yeah, I see. Uh, you just probably carry whatever. Mm. So I asked you, is it the young people carrying the water or is it old people carrying water in the mornings? Uh, young people. Because what people are, sometimes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's old, sometimes it's young. Yes. So, uh, tell me about your river. Mm. Is it big? Is it small? It... Uh, my river is bigger, but not the biggest, mama. Okay. Yes. Uh, animals using that. Water, also people using that water. So when you're taking water in the river, uh, first boiling, when you want to drink or cooking food, first mm -hmm. boiling water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But sometimes when you shower with the water, no uh, boil. No boil. Yeah, so yeah. it's just cold water. Yes. Yeah. Well, Rombani is pretty excited and so am I because <laughs> we have been able to raise all the money for his well yeah which is about five thousand seven hundred dollars us and so now he's gonna head back to malawi and he is going to get started on that process of lining up everything that needs to be lined up for the water companies to come out and uh, drill mm. so are you excited yeah i see are they, <laughs> are they gonna have a party yeah and my grandpa, all, all people, when you see this message, uh, they are very happy. And some people, they are dancing because, eh, hey, in my village, you yeah, have problem water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we're super excited. So, thank you very much to everybody who donated. And we will keep you updated with videos and pictures. Yes. Probably. Yeah. And uh, just pray. Pray yeah. that they can find water where yes, you're at. Yes, yes, because sometimes yeah. there is a logs in, under the soil. Well, actually, too, Rombani lives on a lot of rock, so drilling will not be easy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but we are just going to pray that they do find the water that they need so they can have clean water. Yeah. And we're just getting a normal, simple pump, <laughs> so he still has to walk to the water well to get water, oh, right? Yes. But not to the river, mm. so... Okay, thank you. Thank you for giving our village money to uh, finding water. Thank you. God bless you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.